So for today, we're going to be looking at the Dark Age stuff for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we already reviewed the armor and the shader, and it's both right here. You guys can check it out. We essentially go over all of the armor, how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And for the shader video, we literally just look at all the shaders that I currently own. Do note that I am thinking about cutting the shaders short because I have so many pages, and it's getting to the point where it's like six whole minutes just to go through all of the shaders, sometimes eight, depending on how slow I am. So I might just make half of the shaders that I own because again, I own a lot of shaders. So we'll see when we get there. But for this video, we're going to be looking at the individual pieces of the Dark Age set and we're going to be making sets of them. If you guys, if this is your first video, that's how we usually operate. If a new armor comes out, I usually have five videos out for that armor because again, the review video, the shader video, plus the hunter titan and warlock videos which this is the hunter one so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really do appreciate it hit the bell, bell notification because it really does help and other than that let's look at the helmet so this is the helmet set and i'm going to be honest with you guys this is the weakest set in my opinion um that being said the dark age mask is really really good because of just how versatile it's gonna be just because it's just a helmet it's nothing too crazy it's just a helmet with a visor it looks really cool it's probably one of my more favorite helmets from this season but for the arms diamond spawn grips for the arms i think it's just really cool the vanguard dare vest goes really well with the neoterra kiat cloak and then for the boots uh stompies with the astro sites ornament with the shader carbon blood for all of this except the abyssinian gold because i don't like how carbon blood looks with the neotar kiak cloak so overall this is just like your typical hunter i will say this is like the weakest like i said but again it is going to be super versatile versatile for the dark age mask just because again you can really combine it with a lot of things and it's gonna look really really cool unfortunately this is the only piece i'm missing that's why i went with a safe choice because if i have this helmet i would best believe i would have already unlocked it for an ornament and i would have just gone crazy with it because again i think this helmet has a lot of potential to do some cool stuff as for the next set we're going to be using the boots and the arms so for this one i decided to combine the boots and the arms because the arms i think are the weakest piece from the whole set just because i love that they're symmetrical don't get me wrong i love that i appreciate it it's just i think it's the shoulder pads themselves just look kind of scrawny compared to like all of the other pieces because the other pieces just look so like compare it with the boots and the arms the arms just clearly lose but for this one we're going to be going for a snowy look i guess you could say for the helmet we're going to be using faux tracer with the war painted ornament on it just because i think the war painted ornament looks way better considering that a lot of it does change color except for the visor the very small visor in the in the eyes but compared to the default ornament it's way better i promise you for the chess piece robo raptor chess is what we're using and then for the cloak diamond sworn cloak so again this is supposed to go for like a like a winter look kind of i have literally like three winter looks kind i think like well two more after this one but i definitely like this one i would probably just switch out the robo raptor chassis i love it it's just everything does like unfortunately the, the robo raptor chassis has the off color on the like chest piece specifically the like breastplate and you don't see that anywhere else except for the war painted ornament specifically like around the visor so i would probably just switch it out for something else but i i like where my head is going for this one especially with the shader stal stalwart tenant that shader is like one of my favorite shaders in the game which is wild considering vanguard shaders usually i hate so yeah let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set this is the the snowy look and i'm combining it with the chest piece because i think the chest piece is amazing and the cloak as well so for this one streetwise mask because obviously that that snowboard look i just wanted to have that in there forbidden visage grips just because i wanted something bulky because the 8000 ornament for frosties has that bulky look and i wanted to retain that and i think dark age harness and dark age cloak are really good together with this whole set so again like my first my first initial thought was i'm going to combine the dark age harness with the 8000 or ornament because i know the 8000 ornament has the rope on the hip and this and the dark age harness has the rope on the chest and i thought that was going to be such a cool combination and i think i was right it, it looks amazing if i were to say anything i would probably say just switch out the streetwise mask and the forbidden visage grips 
maybe those two aren't the best choices i will say that i like the forbidden visage on this one but i do think the streetwise mask was probably not the best choice but i definitely like this one for the shader dreaming spectrum just because uh just because i want to i like dreaming spectrum it's one of my favorite shaders so much so it's like the shader that i use for my my logo for my for my youtube channel like that's that's dreaming spectrum on it so it's just one of those things like it's my favorite shader and last but not least, we're going to be looking at the cloak for this one. I wanted to reuse the cloak just because the cloak, I think, is the best piece. Even though I'm still not the biggest fan of the ice picks in the back, I still think it's such a dub of a cloak. But for this one, we're going to be using Knucklehead Radar with the 9 days slash nights ornament. I love this ornament. It never comes off of Knucklehead for the arms, Siege Breaker grips because I like the like little not computer but the little screen on the right side of the arm i think that just looks really really cool for the chest piece crystal cream vest because i am going for a snow look and then diamonds born strides because i this is the hard part i i don't hate the diamonds born strides i think they look cool i just wish we had better like snow looks because I was thinking maybe I can switch out the Krista Kreen vest with the Krista Kreen boots. I think the boots are really cool, but I really wanted to have that pack, which is why I left it there. I mean, there's other there's other things I could have done for the chest piece. Um, there's a few pieces that come to mind, but I was like, I just want to stay safe because I know this is going to look cool for the shader Arctic Dreamscape. Because again, Arctic Dreams, it's it's supposed to be like a soldier snowy look. So it's kind of like a no brainer. The only thing I would say is like I. I kind of wish I sticked with a glow that has the same color as a nine day slash nights uh, like glow thing in the front of the face because the Siege Breaker grip specifically the little uh, screen actually does change color depending on what shader you use. So I could have chosen a shader that has that. But at the same time, I like the fact that the screen is yellow because the vest actually has yellow to it that can change color so i was like combining with that instead because i don't think the blue visor is that much of a big offender so let me know what you guys think i had a lot of fun doing this one i have a lot of content for y'all like actually let me show you guys real quick so here it is um this is like what i'm working on right now so this is what i'm currently working on right now. this is the year three ornaments for the titans and warlocks i've already done it for the hunters and this is this is it so here is all of the i think this is the witcher armor this is the dragon armor the no the worm got worm guard armor this is the year two armor and this is the year three armor these two specifically are the iron banner armors and then we have the year two armor sets for the classes the year three armor for the classes the witcher gear the worm guard stuff and then the snow guard which is this, this is the hunters that we just looked at so i have a lot of content to go through guys and what's crazy is i still have like the hunter videos which this is i think yeah this is um six six coyote and this is the uh the boots that give you an extra arrow i forgot what they're called and then yeah like it's just uh, it's a lot of content um this is also the exotic video the exotic uh, the exotic ornaments for this season so i still haven't done that and i'm still going to be working on that as well so i have just a a bunch of content to go through so don't think i'm not doing anything it's just these take time and i'm currently going to be working on the snow gear and then i'm going to be working on these and then i'm going to be working on all of this so i have a lot of content to go through and that's not even including like the weekly videos like today's friday i'm supposed to be making the uh last call video for sunday that's gonna happen for sure but yeah i just have so much content to go through that i do apologize it's taken a while but be expecting some more content i'm gonna be posting the snow gear for the hunters probably by saturday which is tomorrow and then the new armor sets will go i'm gonna have to make a list just or a schedule just because i have this amount of videos that i'm gonna be working on so i appreciate you guys also i didn't even say this but all of these are gonna be converted into shorts so that's even more videos so i'm just super busy but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later